Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Hot Rod Bob, and you've got gas, the morning edition. And today, it's Car Friends Friday. Yeah, I just thought about that for a second. And to add to the F words, I'm coming to you live from a Ford. I'm in my wife's 1946 Ford, hiding here in my garage. But uh, it's Ford Friends Friday. Why is it Ford Friends Friday? Well, not Ford Friends. It's Car Friends Friday. Why? Well... I just got to thinking, and through this car hobby that I've been part of for so long, I have gotten and made a lot of friends. Mark McGeorge is watching right now, and the strange thing about that is he's also standing in front of the car. So, you know, he is a car friend. We became friends many years ago working for General Motors, and he was the car handler that uh, would bring out the prototype and special cars that we'd use at car shows. We're still friends today. As a matter of fact, he drove all the way in from Arizona, and we're here together. He's at my place here in beautiful downtown Oxnard. Hi, Don Gady, and you're another example of car friends. We met because of cars, the Road Kings Car Club. Richard Turner's watching right now. Jim Dillo, everyone that is watching right now, I call it Gasaholic, because you're following gas here on Facebook. But you are also car friends, and you think about all the friends you've made over the years that are from cars, that if you didn't enjoy cars the way you do, you didn't drive cars that you do, you didn't go to car events like you do, you wouldn't have car friends. Craig Heidenthal, if it wasn't for cars, we wouldn't know each other. He just tuned in. Now, it's not because... I knew about his car, and I'd seen his car. I didn't know about it, but he's the guy that helped me get the lifts I wanted in my garage, a car situation. Craig's also the guy behind Service Tech, where you can get all the service equipment you want for that garage so you can work on your cars properly and have the right information. Marlon Mitchell's another friend who's watching right now. We became friends because of the Ford Club and my Maverick that I had at the time. He's also done work on my cars at his shop, Marlowe's Alignment, in Chatsworth. Ron Olson, another guy watching right now, another car friend from car shows that I was doing when I was the representative for the collector car program at AAA. Pete Muriello is watching right now, another car friend. How do I know Pete? Sifka, the California Independent Funny Car Association. He was one of their top drivers. Jerry Burwell, we worked at Isuzu together, and he's got a great hot rod shop. Rex Road, I work with Rex at the hot rod reunions. Met him through that, another car friend. Everyone that I know, that I have friends with, are car related. Now, that's not to say that we're a small little community. We're a huge, expansive community. Uh, Rex is out of Florida. There'll be uh, a few people here from outside the country in a moment. Neil Panks out of the United Kingdom. Jeff Stilwell, the United Kingdom. Raphael out of Italy. They'll all be here. They're all watching gas. Why? We're all car friends. We're friends because of cars. Now, we have similar likes and similar tastes, but we've become friends and the car was what brought us together. Now, the car's been bringing people together for, well, since it came out. The AAA, a company that I worked for for a while, started out as a car club. It was a social organization for people to join together and enjoy their cars in the early 1900s. Uh, they found out that their members needed insurance, and that's how the insurance aspect of AAA started. But that is not what started AAA. AAA was a social organization, a car club. And how many clubs do you belong to? How many friends have you made because of car clubs? <laughs> Rex, I wish that were the case. Kenneth Carpenter's watching right now. Brad Fisher. But car clubs, another way of making friends. And in the case of certain car clubs, it's because of a certain type of car. And I'm sitting in my wife's 1946 Ford right now, and yes, it is hers, and yes, she had it before we even got married. She was a car person. Now, we're going to have an event tomorrow with the early Ford V8 Club, and it's Drive Your Ford Day on Saturday. So we're going to do a short little cruise, end up at our garage, and do a barbecue. 
will social distance. Everyone will keep their hamburgers six feet apart. And we're going to have a, a great little gathering of people. Uh, we're all car people. And that's how we met. And in this case, it's because of the early Ford V8s. The Flathead Ford V8 Club. So we're enjoying that. Rex wrote, what year was the AAA established? You know, I don't remember, Rex, but it was early 1900s. Uh, I'm trying to think 1900 something. The insurance didn't start till about 10 years after they were formed because they found their members needed insurance. And I've got that written down someplace, Rex. I really do. It was part of a presentation I used to do when I'd go to different car clubs to uh, talk to them about collector car insurance and how to properly insure your car. And it doesn't matter whether it's uh, with AAA, Grundy, Haggerty, or any of those. There's some basics you need to know. Mike Jacobs, where am I off to today? Well, today I'm working in the garage. I'm in the garage right now. Oh, okay, AAA was started. Someone just gave me the thing. Well, that's uh, March 4th. 1902, Rex, that's when AAA was started. So Mark McGeorge is standing in front of the car. And I'll, I'll show you Mark because he's here. There he is. Mark's in the garage. He's here. And uh, he's watching stuff for me and with me. So we're here. The car clubs, car friends, car people. Off to today, Michael. Well, today... I'm going to be working in the garage, get ready for the Ford Club tomorrow when we come over to the, the house. Jay Black, thank you for, again, 1902 is when the AAA was started. And, you know, car people at that point were a very, very select group because there weren't that many cars out to start with. <clears throat> Matthew Gartz is watching right now. But then things changed. Car racing began car clubs started to form. AAA, as I said, was a car club, not an insurance company to start with. And the insurance came later and was only for club members. And that's why today still, you have to be a member of AAA, of the automobile club, to get their insurance. You can't just get the insurance. You can walk in and you can get insurance, but then you have to become a member. And that is members insuring members. Now, a lot of associations like that. You've got uh, Farmers is another one just like that. Hi, right, Mr. Garza. Glad you could tune in this morning. So car people and car friends. I have friends that are car people that I've been friends with for over 40 years. Some even older than that. Marty Lippon, a friend of mine that lives in Reno right now. Well, we were friends when we were kids. And as times changed... We ended up being car friends. As a matter of fact, he was president of a club called the Vandits. And we had vans. We had the club meetings in our apartment when he and I shared apartment when we were in college. Mike Jacobs says, the Denver Early Ford V8 Club here. Well, cool. I'm with the uh, Early V8 Club here in Ventura. And we were part of the Early V8 Club, one of the original clubs in Orange County, California. And uh, he chairs seminars and helps with the tours Yep, and it's a great club to be part of. We've got about 80 members in our chapter here in Ventura, California, and or Thousand Oaks. I forget where we're actually considered based, but it's the, the Ventura County Club, and we got a great group. As a matter of fact, in our Orange County group, we had a gentleman who'd had a 32 Ford since he was a teen. Same Ford. He had set records at, well, El Mirage with the SCTA Dry Lakes Racing. And Bernie Couch was his name. Wrote a great story. And the story that was written was from Paul Martinez. Now, Paul Martinez, another car friend, he is now the publisher of Rotting USA Magazine. And because of that friendship that we developed, well, gosh, I just ran into him in an alley. I didn't literally run into him. I met him in an alley. We were, I was driving through an alley to go over to my sister-in-law's house, and here was this beautiful 34 Ford in his garage, and I knew the car because I'd seen it in magazines. We struck up a conversation. We became friends. We've been friends ever since the early 80s about when I built my 1948 Plymouth. We've stayed friends. As a matter of fact, he worked for Motor Trend Magazine, and uh, I guess I can say this now. He's not there anymore, and what are they going to do? He had the original prototype of the C4 Corvette. They were doing a photo shoot. 
He said, you're racing. Take me for a ride. Show me what this thing can do. Well, we did. We went up and carved some canyons, and I got hooked on Corvettes. And the first Corvette I bought was a C4. As a matter of fact, I still have a C4 today because of Paul. It's his fault. You can blame him. Paul Martinez, Rotting USA. A few months ago, he contacted me and said, Hey, why don't you start writing a story for us? Because you're entrenched in this car hobby. I said, Not a problem. I've started writing a magazine column for him, and it appears in Rotting USA, starting with issue 44. Hit the stands a couple of weeks ago. So that's how I got involved with that. That car hobby and the car friends also got me writing for a newspaper in the Antelope Valley. And I wrote a, a column called World of Wheels for the Antelope Valley Press. Now, that also got me involved in announcing and how I became a race announcer. I was racing. And I went up to timing and scoring and asked what my times were. The guy on the podium who was doing the announcing said, I got to go run my car, handed me a microphone. Well, I couldn't just talk about the car going around the track and reading off numbers. So I started talking about the driver, what they were going to do, what was going to happen next, and added some life to them as they sometimes spun out and so forth. A guy walked out of the crowd. We became friends, and I started announcing motocross racing for him. Well, that led me to the newspaper column, and that led me to covering a new track opening up in Palmdale. Well, it was an old track, but it was reopening. And they said, well, you announced the motocross. Why don't you come upstairs here and talk to the manager? So I went upstairs. He goes, here's the mic. Start. And I stayed for 20 years. I have friends from those days at L.A. County Raceway, L.A.C.R. as it later became known. It was A.V. Raceway when I started working there, and actually, I beat Bernie Longjohn there. Bernie was the track manager that kept that place going until it finally closed in, I believe, 1997. But I was, well, no, I, I stopped going in 1997. I was there for 20 years as the announcer at L.A. County Raceway, and I've made a number of friends, and I see them at the summit races and so forth, that we've been friends for so long. And it's just great. So that's, since 1977, car friends. That's why cars and friends go together. And that's why this is Car Friend Friday. To all of you that are out there watching right now, thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being part of my car hobby, my car life. And uh, thank you. You are gasaholics, and you're my best friends. Thank you very much for being here with Gas on a Friday. Hey, have a great weekend. I'll try and get some pictures posted of the Ford Run on tomorrow, and we'll get that up for you so you can see some great, classy, flathead Ford V8 cars. I'm Hot Rod Bob. You've got Gas. Gas brought to you by Service Tech Equipment, where you can get all the equipment you need to properly operate that garage. And they're coming out with some new products soon that are going to help you keep that car starting when you want it to start. And I'll tell you all about that in just a few short weeks. We'll get you going on that. Irwindale Speedway, Irwindale Drag Strip, and Thursday Night Thunder is going to be starting up in July. I've already posted the date. I'll get more information for you about that as well. Irwindale Speedway has already started, unfortunately. No spectators on the Speedway right now, but they've held a number of circle track races, and you can see them live stream Check it out on Facebook. There's Moon Eyes. Moon Eyes Equipment. Another situation with friends. I met Shigi Suganama, who owns Moon Eyes in Japan when I worked there for Nissan. Another car situation. Walking around, we became friends in 1988 when I worked in Japan. We've been friends ever since. And I've become friends with all the people that work for him there at Moon Eyes. Again, car friends. And that's what Friday car friends is all about. Pete Muriello, you have a great weekend too. Thank you very much. Matthew Garza, thank you for Service Tech shout out. Not a problem, Matt. And if I remember correctly, you were one of the guys that installed the lifts in my garage. I do appreciate the work you do. Thank you very much. All right, guys, Beach Underwriting Associates. They're an insurance organization. And again, a friend, car friend, gone to Bonneville with them. That's Jeff Stilwell out of the United Kingdom. I've got friends universally because of cars all over the world, and that is great. As a matter of fact, Monday, 
I'll be doing the broadcast for the Gentleman's Driving Club out of Mallorca, Spain. We'll be doing a similar thing on their website for their club. Again, making friends worldwide because of cars. You guys have a great weekend. Hope you enjoy your cars. Go out and cruise them, drive them, enjoy them. That's what they're for. I'm Hot Rod Bob. You've got gas along with Mark McGeorge. Wave at him. There he is. And like I said, I'm in my wife's Ford, 1946 Ford. And I'm going to be doing some stuff on it, checking it out today so we can get ready for the run this weekend. And there's my cousin, Bruce Rothberg from New Jersey just tuned in. How you doing, Bruce? Hope all's well back there in the great Garden State. You guys have a great weekend. I'm Hot Rod Bob, and you've got gas. The great American auto scene. Thanks for being a gasaholic with me. And don't forget, we're on YouTube now. Our YouTube channel is Two Tired Guys. And you can subscribe to that free. We're doing 20 new videos in 20 days. We're putting them up there. Some historic videos, some vintage stuff. You can get some past gas right there at Two Tired Guys on YouTube. Tune in and enjoy it. Take care, folks. You have a great weekend, and thanks for watching. Troy Light, an NHRA family man. Take care. Have a great day.